In the last video, we saw how to create a Maven project and we created a Maven project for our Cucumber framework, page object model framework. And uh, we ran our feature file as usual. The only thing is we did not use the uh, Maven built-in features to run our framework. So now I'm going to show you how to run uh, this framework as a Maven build or Maven test or Maven install as you can say there that is another word for Maven test and uh, this uh, for running it as a Maven install you need to install uh, I mean you need to put certain changes in your uh, form.xml you need to put a build node and inside that build node there should be a plugins node and under the plugins there should be two plugins one will be maven compiler plugin and one will be maven surefire plugin you can uh, test for this uh, you can check for these plugins on google.com and it will have the first plugin will have the source and target as uh, 1.7 this is the java uh, jdk version that i have currently and this is a version of maven compiler plugin for the maven surefire plugin there is a include stack and in uh, that i have mentioned which runner class to execute so this will search for all uh, the packages in the main folder and then anything that has test underscore runner it will execute so this is about the pom.xml changes this is the only thing that you need to do to execute a maven cucumber test so now let's have a look at our test underscore runner class the changes that i have done here is initially we had a report folder over here i have put it under target folder because when you run it as a maven test it will create the target folder and inside that target folder i have created a cucumber hyphen report folder so let's go ahead and see how our test runs so this time let me close all the windows here all the programs so it will be easier for us now I go to pom.xml I have already done the changes over here I have added the plugin the build build section below the dependencies section make sure it is added below the dependencies and not the dependency otherwise it will fail and then I do a right click on pom.xml first I will do a maven clean so that it will clean all the maven directories right now i have a target folder over here so build success now i once i refresh it the target folder is the contents of the target folder are gone so it clears out the target folder that is where our index.html will come once we run it as a maven test so next thing we do it as uh, do it is run it as maven install once you run it as maven install it will run our tests okay the resource uh, resources will get downloaded through maven and everything will get run now it is compiling the four source files that we have and slowly it is coming to the test section it has picked up the test underscore runner class and now it is executing it So let's wait for some time. Okay, only local connections are allowed has come. So we are sure that next thing will be opening the Chrome browser. There you go. The Chrome browser has opened and the URL will be opened soon. There you are. The register link will be clicked now. The data will be entered. And finally, the submit button will be clicked. So the, uh, it is entering the data, submit button is getting clicked. Now this is the confirmation page. The data on the confirmation page will be checked. The test is over. I have not put the code to close the browser. That you can do anyway. So now let's go ahead and see our build is a success. So 18 tests have been run. There are no failures, no errors, no skipped tests. And the final time taken was 
this much the memory utilized was this much so now you have the target directory is empty now once you do a refresh over here see the target directory has all the uh, files inside it and we created this cucumber hyphen report in the test runner so let's have a look at what is there in the cucumber hyphen report folder so we have our index.html over here you can also go to the hard drive open the index.html from there but i would recommend that you open it from here open as open with and you can take the web browser there you are our uh, background step given scenario given and uh, the other clauses other uh, clauses like and clauses and uh, then clauses have passed so this is how uh, you run a maven test uh, through maven using the features of maven the we what we used was maven clean and maven install you can also run it using maven test but i would recommend using maven install thank you